somewhere along the line you need a love like mine somewhere along the line true love is hard to find hello everybody welcome to another studio vlog Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. I still have things to do this month. Things that I've done since the last vlog are refined Boss Coffee sketches, because we got feedback from the client, rolled out some of the illustrations for the co-loop thing, some of like the other ratios for social, took some older illustrations that I did with some crayons, and I turned them into stickers, and I sent those off for the zine fair, as well as sending off two print designs for little postcard prints to sell at the zine fair. I also got my table seating for the zine fair. Melody sent that through. So we are table number 62 and we're like just when you walk into the zine fair you turn right and that's our table. So that's actually excellent. Today I'm doing my boss coffee job. I'll show you what they sent me. They sent me like a bunch of these but I'm using the vanilla latte one because I like the color and I think it'd be awesome. But I'm so excited. After I finish this job work it's gonna be slurping all these down I'm sure. Oh, I also got a package, so I'll show you now. I don't have an Amazon Prime account and I wanted to get this art book, but Nate has one, so he kindly purchased it for me in Oscar's Amazon account so I could get free shipping. Because honestly, book shipping to Australia is crazy and it was gonna be like $60 and I just could not. I would have done it honestly if there wasn't this option, but I just decided to do this because it's just so expensive and it was free shipping, so. Look guys, I actually don't know how to say her name. Sibylline. I'm terrible. I've been waiting for this. I got it in pre-order. I'm so excited. I actually totally forgot that I ordered it, but then she posted about it the other day. And it actually still didn't register me that I, I had bought it. I was like, oh, that's nice. The note's like, your book's here. I was like, what are you talking about? I am so freaking excited. I'm really excited to see, like, learn about her creative journey and process and, like, see all these behind the scenes. Oh, I love these art books. They're so cute. Incredible. So, yeah, I actually can't wait to read this. Oh, these are divine. She is the queen of gouache, honestly. And she was really good with it when she was working with ink as well. Well, so I admire her very much. Very beautiful work. And if you don't follow her, follow her on Instagram. Her work is excellent. Anyway, we need to get started for the day.
got a call from you tonight Now I'm wide awake Our tongues were loosened up with We are back in the studio I want to quickly show you what I got from Minuteman. So Minuteman is where I go when I need last minute jobs, especially ones that are really quick turnarounds and like really good quality. Really recommend the one in Banks Meadow because that's who I use. Brian's amazing. So look, I got some matte postcards from the Zine Fair. Just little cute little small ones. They're actually really good quality. If I ever did Patreon, this is where I would get them done because they're like really quick turnarounds. So it'd be great for every month. Then I got these vinyl stickers. I actually really like them. So the first... Time, I think I'm making stickers that aren't just like digitally done. I really like them. They're just the other things. I mean, that's it. <laughs> but I needed to decide how I'm going to display these today. Also, um, set some aside for friends and me. <laughs> so I used this last time to hold like zines and prints and stuff. So I'm going to try to do that again. I think my zines will be about as big as this. So we're going to use that as a measure. But this is so that people can just like kind of pick and mix a bunch of stuff. Does this fit? Oh, and, and like a bunch of things there they can pick and I can put the stickers in like a container or something. That is so cute. But the silence showed us both it's all about what's left unsaid. A thousand ever afters in the pillow where you rest your head. Ah, ah, I wish you were here tonight Maybe in the meantime, baby, we would get it right I could disappear just as the morning light bursts in the clay or we could close the curtains in your room and wave the day away We've all got our scars, but in this case it's like a tattoo of your name Maybe it's tacky, but I'll keep these greenish letters all the same. Good. We just began. What the? We just shake began. Their heads, Ooh, yeah. But it's a part of who I am. Let them shrug their shoulders. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Ah, ah, I wish you were here tonight. Right, how's it going? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, for sure. Okay, everyone. It's been a little while. But this is the portion that you've all been waiting for. Rocket's shelf process. I thought I would show you the finished shelves before we show the process of how Rocket made them. I don't know if I'm showing it the best because it's night time. Yes. It's not really set up. It's going to be like really nice eventually. I've just, after I built these, I got busy. I don't have time for this, to finesse it. It's all yes. set there and it's functional, so let's leave it for now. Essentially, here are Rocket shelves and we are going to show you the process. Well, Rocket filmed on the process. I also want to show you this other thing which I think is the best thing ever. Rocket, come introduce these. Okay, let me show you. So these, wait, I'm taken by these because the shelf, yeah, it's cool and everything, but shelves are a dime a dozen. This is like, this is like, so custom for Rocket's knees that it's so impressive. He built the shelves and then he built this for inside his studio. Would you like to give us a tour? Here you go. Where would you like to do the tour? I can do it anywhere. Also, by the way, I can carry up to 960 kilograms of stuff. Just under a ton, might I add. Oh my god. I don't need 
one kind of gear, but I can, I can now. Cool. Carry that. You'll see that Rocket's studio is very empty. It's because he needs to work in a modular way because every shoot is different. So That's this is why most things have wheels. Yes. This section is my C stands. Yep. So there's a bunch more as well. Yep. And they all go in there, as you can see. Yes, amazing. And then these What's this? are for like basically my C stand arms, my other long things that can just like go in there. Yep. So all of that. And Our then, favorite detail. You know, if I drop something and I drop it down like this, and I'm like, oh no, I'm never gonna get that. Not to worry, I got it. That is genius. That, little gap. that is genius. Because that would have been a pain. Okay. Over here, C stand knuckles and like super clamps and things like that. And then I've got all my cables and extension cables in this kind of cage thing. Yeah. And then we've got power boards, and this is still kind of empty. Every now and then it holds my like film cameras. And then this holds like my sandbags and everything. Cool. I've been using it, so it's not. This is iconic. And then check this out. What? Flags and other boards go in this section. So what is a Sneak flag, section. sweetie? And what are these well, used like, for? They're like, okay, time to like reflect some white onto something. What are those? These are just like ropes and uh, things just to like cool. pull things down. Because you like tie that to a sandbag and then put it on like either side of a stand so it can't like wobble around. Yay. And these are clamps just because clamps are good. Now, would you like to say anything for your in preemptive to your content that we're about to show? To your process? Um, the process is a bit chaotic and also uh, it took a lot longer than expected. So I apologize to you, Sean, for one, <laughs> creating like a woodwork studio right next door. <laughs> no, baby, I meant for like watching the process of your thing. Oh, uh, I enjoy. <laughs> I just purchased the timber and I need to go around to the loading dock. And grab it all. They're very nice in there, and they had all these different supplies. Oh, check it out! They also gave me all these samples. How cute's this little box? Now here we have some sandy oak. This was very spot, but it's not. It's just because it's very interesting. They've got all these different types of plywood with different finishes, and they gave me all these samples, which is cool. Somewhere along the line. So I just want to interrupt quickly and say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your dream website. If Rocket was going to start building shelves for the rest of his life as his new career, he could do that on Squarespace. He'd be selling his consultation time, see availabilities, the list his shelves and carpentry projects as product. You could have a gallery full of past projects as well as testimonials. I could sell my blueprints for my shelves. He could sell his soul. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Basically, if you can sell it, you can make it with Squarespace. We love Squarespace in this household. We both use Squarespace for all of our website needs. I think between us, we have three websites. If you've never tried Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash peach. There, you'll get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Anyway, back to the shelf-making mastery. You're gonna wake up and find Somewhere along the line Well, there's no saying that the worm will turn And when it does, baby, you're sure to burn Like Humpty Dumpty, you're sitting tall But remember, Humpty had a terrible fall somewhere along the line. You're gonna wake up and find you needed me all the time. Somewhere Hello.